Ryan and Resnick up here, all the way in Coastal Blue Thailand. They've been Blue Thailand, been a drunk for about eight years now. Uh, Yod Ped, uh, he's come and trained in Australia and fought a couple of guys like Flip Street over there as well. What we're going to do is go to some real basics or the five or six main principles of clips that a lot of people don't explain. The first most important one is wide feet. If you don't have wide feet, you'll trip me. Okay, wide feet, hips in. If your hips aren't in, he'll knee you. That's two. Third one, always lock down on the clinch, okay? Because if you hold here, and I see a lot of Westerners do this, he'll elbow me, bam. Save it from just very gentle here, so boom. Make sure, always lock down, both sides, head, etc. Even if I'm in body lock, come this way a little bit, even if I'm body lock, you cannot elbow me. So you always have to watch out for the elbows. When you're starting off clinch, always be aware of that. Okay? Now the other thing is, one of my main principles to clinch is forearms or everything. Okay, so when you're clinching, you don't have to worry too much about all the different techniques and positions. Just remember forearms are everything. Now what do I mean by that? If my forearms in, I'll do it the other way for you. If my forearms in, I can control him. If my forearms are in, he can control me. Okay, so let's say he has me in this position. It's called 50 50. If his forearms in and my forearms in, we both control each other. So either I get rid of his forearm, which I can do by popping, yeah, and now he can't control me until he gets that forearm back down. So this forearm is very, very important. Now, don't get me wrong, you can do body lock as well, but that's called getting rid of the forearms. Try to keep the forearms in for control, okay? Let's say their forearms in, I can even pop and drive and get rid of his forearms. Maybe one at a time, and just pop up. Now I'm in control. Forearms or control, that's where the leverage comes from. And okay, now don't forget about the pull and push theory as well, which you're gonna do a whole video on. But everything you do, you can pull and push. I can pull and push. I can pull and push. Okay, and don't forget about that. So hips in, wide feet. Another one I'm gonna add is make sure your weight is down. If my weight is up, you'll trip me. Wait. Tripping, very important to keep your weight down. And the very last one I'm going to give you guys is don't always push because I'm going to come this way a little bit. If I start pushing him, he'll start going back and he'll throw me like this. I start push, 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 wait, and he'll throw me. That was very good acrobatic skills. Okay, so let's go over that again. Wide feet, hips in, always watch out for the elbows. Forearms are everything. Weight down, don't pull and push. Sometimes the cat can go backwards, but don't be launching at me because they will throw you. Bang, or they'll even knee you. They'll step back and knee, just like you did. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed those basics. Um, those are the five or six main principles. Okay, I'm gonna do another video soon about the pull-push theory, and also the blind side theory, which is really, really cool. It's a bit more for the advanced guys, okay? Thank you.